All right. This information that Paul actually preached and then wrote in 1 Corinthians 15, that first little section there, is what scholars call a creed. Correct. Okay? And that creed, Paul says, I got from somebody else. And the question is, who did he get it from? He could have gotten it from Peter and James at five years after the cross when he met with them in Jerusalem, or that creed could have come when he actually saw the risen Jesus at plus two from the cross. All right? And scholars want to know, when did this creed, this information, which, what is that information, by the way, that's in 1 Corinthians 15, and then tell us about how, fa how far back the scholars are saying this goes. Well, we, we used in an earlier show, we used the words pre-Pauline. Here's the cross. Paul comes to Jesus. Now, pre-Pauline could be, in this case, anything up to the writing of 1 Corinthians, but Technically, the real heavy pre-Pauline stuff is right in here. It is this. When Paul comes to Jesus, if he would have stopped and said, stop the presses, I'm a Christian now. What do we already know about Jesus? That creed would have been there. That creed would have been in existence. That's pre-Pauline means Christ died for sins according to the scriptures, buried, rose again from the dead according to the scriptures, and appeared to Cephas and then uh, two individuals, three groups, Paul appends his name. Except for Paul appending his name, that list is there when Paul's converted. Yeah. That's exciting. But I love the fact he appeared to 500 people at one time, all right? Yeah. And he appeared to the apostles. And two things, we want to talk about his meeting with Peter and James, but he meets with all of the apostles at 48. But sticking with this, uh, this pre-Pauline thing is, is, this answers the question, Christianity was not invented by Paul. Exactly, and that's so important because it was a 19th century German liberal view which still there's a hangover of today, and the argument goes like this. Nobody wants to blame Jesus. Jesus was a first century itinerant prophet, a really good guy, do-gooder, um, you know, probably back on the farm, but he would go out and preach and just try to lead the good life and seek ye first the kingdom of God and the Sermon on the Mountain. That's Jesus. Paul is the cult leader who comes out and sings a new song, and now he's one of the Greco-Roman dying and rising gods who, and they want to blame it on Paul. How can Paul be the maestro that strums the song for Christianity? When Paul comes to the Lord, this text is already in existence. And we already have, not just this one, the texts we have, the early creeds, they call Jesus Lord. And then, I mean, it's in a context where he's on the right hand of God. I mean, it's in a context where uh, Messiah, Son of God, and Lord is there at the beginning, and it's pre-Pauline. Yeah, Paul's not the inventor of this. Now, as far as what the creeds are, here's the easiest way for me to think of it. Besides the earlier dot, 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 dot for people who couldn't, uh, who couldn't write their name, another way to think of it is this. Let's say the cross is 30 A.D. Let's say the earliest New Testament book is 1 Thessalonians at 50 A.D. Some people put it 48, 49, and some people put the cross at, at 33. So like, like Paul Barnett, who puts it at 33, the historian, as Paul Barnett says, if that's 33 and the book's 48, that's only 15 years.